I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. In the today's session, we are going to start the new beat from the herbal cosmetic. That is the use of the certain herbal materials in the formulation of the cosmetics. In the today's session, we are going to discuss the fixed oil. So let us move towards and we will see the types of the raw materials which are being used to prepare the herbal cosmetics. If you can see the point which we are going to discuss, that is the sources and description of the raw materials of herbal origin used in the formulating herbal cosmetics. We are going to discuss more specifically the materials which are from the herbal source going to be used to formulate the cosmetics for the skin, cosmetics for the hair and the oral hygiene product. There are so many herbal materials are available starting from the oils to the certain herbs which are going to be used in the manufacturing of the cosmetic preparation. The ingredients are like the fixed oil, waxes, colors, perfumes, protective agents, bleaching agents, antioxidants, surfactants, and the preservatives. Not in all cases we are using the herbal material. There are few cases are there in which we have to suppose to rely on the synthetic material. Let us see first point that is the fixed oils. So what is the fixed oil? So fixed oil, these are derived from the vegetables and the mineral sources. There are two sources are there for the vegetable oils. Very first source that is the from the certain vegetables and the second one that is the mineral source. And these fixed oils are being used in the skin care as well as the hair care. And some of the fixed oils are also being used in the oral hygiene products. The examples of the vegetable oils which are used in the herbal cosmetics are the almond oil, sunflower oil, sesame oil, arachis oil, castor oil, olive oil, and the coconut oil. Maybe some other fixed oils are also there, but these are the major vegetable oils which are being used in the formulation of the cosmetic preparation. We'll see, uh, let us see the mineral oils. There are two mineral oils are available. One that is uh, known as the light mineral oil and second one that is known as the heavy mineral oil depending on their specific gravity, viscosity and so on. Let us see the fixed oil. The first oil that is known as the almond oil. Here we are going to discuss more specifically the biological source than the family, than the relevant description of that particular herb, then we are going to discuss the chemical constituents and their uses and application in the cosmetics. The very first fixed oil that is known as the almond oil. So this is a kind of fixed oil which is being obtained by expressing the seeds of Prunus amaegadalus belonging to family Rosiaceae. It is, look at the figure. So it is a pale yellow liquid with a slight odor and bland nutty taste. So that is related with the almond oil. If you can see it's a color, it's a pale yellow in color. It is having a slight odor and the bland nutty taste. If you can see the chemical constituent, it comprises approximately 42 55% of the fixed oils which are present in the almond oil. Furthermore, it contains 20% of proteins, mucilage, then the mixtures of glycosides with the oleic acid, then linoleic acid, myristic acid, and the palmitic acid. So these are the some of the chemical constituents which are present in the almond oil. Almond oil mainly used as an emollient in the various cosmetic preparations. The preparations are either we are preparing the creams or the lotions. And mainly the almond oil it is being used to 
prepare the cosmetics for the skin and the hair so this is about the almond oil let us see the next fixed oil that is known as the arachis oil so arachis oil it is a fixed oil obtained from the seeds of the arachis hypogea belonging to family leguminosae look at the figure so it is a pale yellow in color or almost colorless liquid with a nutty odor and bland taste the color of the oil it is dependent on how much percent refining is done on the oil if you can see the chemical constituents which are present in the arachis oil it contain the palmitic acid ceric acid oleic acid linoleic acid arachidic acid eicosanoic acid behenic acid and lignoceric acid so these are the some of the chemical constituents of the arachis oil it is going to be used as the moisturizing and furthermore it is having the antioxidant properties so it is going to be used in the wrinkles sunburns eczema dry and dehydrated skin as well as it is going to be used as a, an antidandruff its the main use is uh, it is emollient in nature and also it is being used as a solvent mainly the arachis oil it is going to be used for the preparations related with the hair and and the brilliant time that is a, mainly related with the hair preparations like oils and the brilliant time so this is about the arachis oil let us see the next fixed oil that is known as the castor oil all of you are aware about the castor oil so it is a fixed oil obtained from the seeds of ricinus communis belonging to family euphorbiaceae look at the figure so it is a colorless or slightly yellow color it is a viscous in nature and has slight odor with a slightly acrid taste let us see the chemical constituents which are present in the castor oil so castor oil comprises the glycerides of ricinoleic acid then isoricinoleic acid then stearic acid dihydroxy stearic acid so these are the some of the major chemical constituents which are present in the castor oil mainly it is a uh, used as an emollient it is going to be used in the formulation of lipsticks hair oils creams lotions and the eyelashes more specifically the castor oil helps to prevent hair fall premature graying of hair it is going to get a relief from the irritated scalp and it is going to promote the hair growth so mainly it is going to be used in the preparation of cosmetics related with the skin and the hair so this is about the castor oil let us see the olive oil so olive oil is a fixed oil obtained by the expression of the ripe fruits of olea europoea belonging to family oleaceae look at the figure so it's a pale yellow in color or light greenish yellow so olive oil is a fixed oil obtained by the expression of the ripe fruits of the olea europaea belonging to family oleaceae so olive oil it is a pale yellow to light greenish yellow with a pleasanting delicate flavor the taste of olive oil it is a bland the chemical constituents which are present in the olive oil are the glycerides of oleic acid palmitic acid linoleic acid stearic acid and myristic acid mainly it is used as a emollient the olive oil it is used for the preparation of creams lotions shampoos and the bath oil mainly it is used for the skin care or the hair care so this is about the olive oil let us move towards the next fixed oil is the coconut oil so the coconut oil it is expressed from the dried solid parts of the endosperms of the coconut that is the cocos 
nucifera belonging to family palmi if you can see the figure it is going to be solidified at below 25 degree celsius that is known as the coconut butter so the coconut butter is a white or a pearl white anactus mass odorless or with a peculiar coconut odor and the bland taste the major chemical constituents which are present in the coconut oil are the mixtures of triglycerides of saturated fatty acid then the caprylic acid capric acid lauric acid and the myristic acid these many of the acids which are present in the coconut oil it is going to be used as skin moisturizer and the softener mainly used in the preparations of the hair oil shampoos and the lip balm it is going to be used for the skin care as well as the hair care so this is about the coconut oil let us see the sunflower oil so sunflower oil again it is a fixed oil obtained from the ripe and dried seeds of carthamus tinctorius belonging to family compositae if you can see the its nature it is a clear faint yellow liquid with a characteristic odor and the taste the main chemical constituents which are present in the sunflower oil includes the glycerides of palmitic acid stearic acid arachidic acid oleic acid linoleic acid and the linolenic acid furthermore the sunflower oil contains the lecithin tocopherols carotenoids and the waxes some of the antioxidants are also present in the sunflower oil it is going to be used for its uh, soothing action mainly the sunflower oil it is used in a wide variety of emulsions formulated for the face and body products also it is going to be used in the preparation of body oils as well as in the soft soap so this is about the sunflower oil let us see the next fixed oil that is known as the jojoba oil so the jojoba oil it is extracted from the seeds of uh, simondicea chinensis belonging to family simondiceae it is a golden liquid with a slightly nutty odor look at the figure it contains mainly the mono unsaturated fatty acids primarily 11 eicosanoic acid that is also known as the gondoic acid oleic acid and erosic acid so these are the major chemical constituents which are present in the jojoba oil various cosmetic products contains the jojoba oil it is a used as moisturizer and as a carrier oil for exotic fragrances furthermore it is used in the lotions moisturizer hair shampoos and the conditioner so this is about the jojoba oil the next oil that is known as the sesame oil it is also known as the tea oil or tea tel so it is a fixed oil obtained from sesamum indicum belonging to family pedaliaceae it mainly contains glycerides of fatty acids mainly the oleic acid linoleic acid palmitic acid stearic acid and arachidic acid it also contains the phenol and sesamol so these are the major chemical constituents which are present in the sesame oil it is used as a nutritive softening agent that is as an emollient in the various cosmetic preparation it is used to manufacture the soaps ointments and paste furthermore it is going to be used as a moisturizer then it is going to be used in the lipsticks and other makeup products such as a sunscreen products skin cleansers and hair products so these are the some of the uses and applications of the sesame oil or the tea oil so this is about the sesame oil let us see the some of the mineral oils which are being used in the cosmetics there are two uh, oils are there you can see it as uh, paraffin that is a light liquid paraffin 
and uh, heavy liquid paraffin. Itself name indicate that the light liquid paraffin it is having the low density and heavy liquid paraffin it is having a high density. So the light liquid paraffin it is a mixture of hydrocarbons in the form of an oily liquid which has no color and no odor. The viscosity and weight per ml are both low in the light liquid paraffin as compared to the heavy liquid paraffin. The light liquid paraffin it is used in the bath oils, hair oils, blend oils, uh, lotions, and the creams. Similarly, the heavy liquid paraffin it is again a mixture of hydrocarbons in the form of colorless, odorless, oily liquid. Due to its soothing effect on the skin, it is used in the creams, lotions, blend oils. Then hair oils and uh, bath oils. So this is about the fixed oils which are being used in the cosmetic preparation related to the hair and related to the skin care. So in this session, we have discussed the fixed oils, more specifically the vegetable oils and the mineral oils. Vegetable oils like almond oil, sesame oil, sunflower oil, arachis oil, castor oil, olive oil, and the coconut oil. And the mineral oils like a light and heavy liquid paraffin. Thank you. Very much.